Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Flashback Friday. Today we're going to take a look at Wayne Dasher, the veteran Revan Go Piston Cup Racer number 73 from Cars 3. Now before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Wayne Dasher is an Excello Vision EA Piston Cup Racer who bore the number 73 for Revengo, the carburetor decongestant, and had previously replaced the previous Revengo racer, Misty Motorcrafts from Cars 1, and he also shares the same body as Brick Yardley. And during his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South of the 2016 Piston Cup season. And on that very same year, when Next Gen Racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was one of the remaining veteran racers to participate for the rest of the season. In 2017, the following year, before the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway, he was replaced by his sponsor in favor of a next-gen racer named Mfast Fawn, who I unfortunately don't have. And during his diecast releases, he was released in the Desert Race 11 pack of 2017, along with Lightning McQueen, aka Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, Jackson Storm, Bobby Swift, Cal Weathers, Brick Yardley, Todd Marcus, also known as Cars 3 Todd Marcus, Red Meeker, Chick Hicks with a headset, and Tex Dynaco. And it was the only time he was released as a regular diecast and he has not been released as a regular diecast ever since. And although he was originally going to be named Harvey Rodcap, who is now the name of the next gen Easy Idol Piston Cup racer, they, they just labeled him as Rev and Go Racer. Until the car's poster of 2022 on this year, he was revealed as Wayne Dasher. Although, car's fans on the internet have been coming up with their own names. Although my, although my original name for the Revengo Racer was Joshua Josh Lieberson, who is now the name of the Apple stock car. Right. Now, these two who share the same body have, I mean, these two have some things in common. They're both Axel Fijon EA Piston Cup racers, which they share the same body mold as Brick Yardley, and they are both nameless and had not been released as regular die casts in a single. Although Mattel hadn't planned on releasing this one, and this one, so this needs to be customized, can, custo be, can be customized. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his happy facial expression, his headlights and grill and number 73 in blue, light blue exterior paint. And on the hood we've got the red orange background on the hood with the Rev and Go logo and on both sides we've got the orangish yellow number 73 and the red arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up and the black rims on the black wall light year tires and the Rev and Go logo saying Rev and Go carburetor decongestion the gas cap and the few contingency logos saying piston cup vitaline revolting rpm nitro aid octane gain and clutch aid and on the top we've got the dark blue interior 
with the yellow number 73, no name signature. And on the trunk, we've got the Rev and Go logo with the red and orange background and the ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we've got the red tail lights and the Rev and Go logo and the camera in the middle and the number 73 on the back bumper. Now on the right side, we've got the exhaust pipe. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the other Excello Fijanier Piston Cup racers that share his body mold. We've got Brick Yardley, Joshua Josh Leverson, the Apple Stock Car, Dud Throttleman, Parker Brixton, Tommy Highbanks, Brian Spark, Buck Baringley, and Terry Cargaz, even though he shares the same even though he shared the same body mold as Cal Weathers. And some of the other XLO vehicles, we've got Mac Icar, who is a regular Fijan. Cora Copper, who is a Rapido SI. And Manny McGear, who is a Turnpike. Although, uh, I can't remember what his, her, her model is. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And that, and some of the other, and the other Rev and Go racer, Misty Motocross. So now let's compare him to, the, compare the two Rev and Go racers. No. Now here are some similarities and differences. Both bear the number 73 for Revengo, the carburetor congestion in the Piston Cup. Spoiler, even though she's a girl. S grill, both have the black grill. 73 on headlights, 73 underneath headlights. Angry expression, happy expression. 2005 Revengo logo. 2016 Revengo logo, both have the 73 on the top and have no name signature. The Revengo logo on the trunk and the ducktail spoiler. '80s model, 2010s model, both have the 73 and the Revengo logo and the gas cap on 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 the both sides. Blue rims on the black wall Lightyear tires. Black walls on the black wall light year, black rims on the black wall light year tires. Arrow at the bottom, no arrow at the bottom. Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitally, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Returning Clutch Aid. Lesser's contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Vitally, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. Both have. Exhaust pipe on the left, no exhaust pipe on the left. Both have the Rev and Go logo in the middle, camera in the middle, no camera in the middle, 73 on taillights, 73 on back bumper, slogan saying carburetor decongestion, no slogan carburetor decongestion on the back bumper. Exhaust pipes on both sides. Exhaust pipes on the right. And that and that is it. <sighs> Although having said that, I'm wondering if I should be doing some car hunting anywhere I go, even though more than just browsing searching researching them, either if either if they're new or from new releases or from the past but lately I'm 
I'm still thinking about that new Cars on the Road Ford pack from a Target. But what do you guys, but other than that, what do you guys think? Which XLO Fission EA Piston Cup racer is your favorite? Which XLO, Fission, XLO vehicle is your favorite? And which Rev and Go racer is your favorite? And what is, and is, and what is your name for the Rev and Go racer from Cars 3? Or is it truly Wayne Dasher? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!